Hello YouTubers, I'm back again. As I mentioned before, I had some compressor oil here. I wanted to see if it contained uh, PCBs. Now, before I do this, I do not claim to be an expert. Just uh, some information that I've heard here and there, people talking about, and a little bit of research on my own. Um, one of the people I was talking to uh, about this kind of test was uh, Ed Systems, Aussie 50, because he was kind of wondering the same thing, and I went ahead and looked up some additional information on it. And basically, and I could be wrong, you get a piece of clean, solid copper wire, and I got the mineral oil here. There's a whole, what is this? About a whole quart of oil in there. And I have a uh, small propane butane torch here. That's all I got, so we're going to go ahead and try it. I coated the wire in oil. And the idea behind it is when you heat the wire, the oil, I don't know how well you're getting to see this. I don't know if you're getting to see that flame coming off of there or not. But that's the uh, oil burner. And as you can see, it's pretty much a uh, orange flame. Now, I was told if it were PCBs, it would be green. Or I should say my research has told me that. So as you can see on there, that was not green. That's one test. The next test is to see if it floats on the water or sinks. So here, a jar of clean water in a glass. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of mineral oil to it. And we'll see what happens. I don't know how well you can see that, but... If you look there, the oil that I poured in did go to the bottom at first, but it's all rising to the top. Right here in the jar with just a small drip on the bottom that looks like it uh, that it wants to come up there. So uh, I would say my non-professional non opinion is there aren't any PCBs in the mineral oil of this refrigeration system. Um, anybody out there with further information? Yeah, there, you, there it goes. You can see it kind of disappeared. But anybody out there with further information on this subject and, you know, I guess amateur testing, if you want to call it that, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. I appreciate it. I'm always looking to learn something. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, have a good one.